Thanksgiving just one week I cannot away. Believe it. Cannot believe it either. And joining us to help ease the pain of holiday grocery shopping, we have Chef Linda Rossman from HEB. Hi. Linda. Good afternoon. Okay, so save us some time and tips. When you're getting ready to enter HEB, you're getting your grocery shopping for next week done. Yes. What are the tips? Okay, first off, we're going to look at that turkey. Yeah, the okay. critical question for most people is how do I make a turkey that doesn't taste like sawdust? Doesn't taste <laughs> like sawdust. First thing, we're going to pick it out. You're going to think ahead because if you get a frozen turkey, it's five pounds for every 24 hours to defrost. So if you don't have it defrosted, you don't have turkey on Thanksgiving Day. So Wait if a you're minute. buying frozen, you better buy it now. Now. So be ready to defrost Sunday, Monday. This yes. is critical. So if you have a 25 pound turkey, that's going to take five, five days, days to thaw five. out. In your refrigerator. In your refrigerator. So, that's the safe way to do it. That's the what safe about way. people who try to rush last minute, buy a frozen turkey, and then just stick it in warm water in the sink? You're going to look at putting it in a um, temperature zone that's not too safe. So you want to not do that. You would want cool water, and you want it running. So definitely go for the refrigerator and plan ahead. Make your save life so the much water. Well, and save the <laughs> bacteria <laughs> festival that yes. will make all your Thanksgiving guests sick. Okay, yeah, so definitely. to safely defrost five days or five pounds, five pounds a, for day. a day. So you have days that. Five it's ready to go. The day before, if you want to brine it, you're looking at an hour a pound to brine a turkey. So we have a couple brining kits over here. This is a huge thing. That is huge. It has all the seasonings in it. Very simple instructions. My suggestion, put it in a cooler. I saw them put them in a little drink cooler so it drops it right in. Put the lid on with all the ice. So you may not need the brining bag if you have it in a little cooler, but if you do, these kits come with it. HEB oh. does sell the brining bags and all the kits right there so you can get those conveniently at the store. Well, I like you've got different kinds. You've got apple sage, you've got Cajun. Really? And again, you said so uh, to an hour per pound. So if you have that 25 pound turkey, that's going to take you a full day, full day to, to brine it. And you're going to take it out, pat it off, and you're going to put it in the oven. And you're looking at 20 minutes a pound in that turkey baking time. Hey, Linda, can I ask you a question? The, is there a rule of thumb when it comes to buying a, a fresh turkey versus frozen? Because I'm sure there are people out there who would say, oh, I would never do a frozen turkey. But can you get a really good result with a frozen turkey? We have for years. Nothing different. It's just a matter of time. So say you bought it a month ago and you put it in your freezer versus buying it now and it's fresh. Same great taste. Okay. That's so for those folks that haven't done the turkey brine, what does that do to the turkey? It gives you a little more flavor. It kind of marinates the turkey and gets into the meat. So gets you just a little more than just that regular butter flavor that you would get out of a turkey. It seasons it. That Cajun's going to give you that little spice. That apple it to make it a little bit more moist, though, on the inside, Definitely. Too? So when, like, you marinate meat, it gets a little more moist. It's a little more tender. Same thing's going to happen to the turkey. Now, if you overcook it, I can't help you there. <laughs> but you do want to get it to 165 degrees internal temperature. Okay. So that's a big one. So and a meat thermometer. Meat thermometer. Those little ones that are stick in there, yeah, the don't turkey. gauge those. That doesn't tell you a truth temperature. So get that thermometer and use it. That is your best guide. Don't then, trust the little plastic. And then do you bring it out and put it up on the stove, keep it covered keep and let it, it covered and let it sit. What happens is it's hot and all those juices are running through it. And if you cut it right away, they're going to flow out. So letting it sit for 15 to 20 minutes before carving it leaves those juices locked into the meat. Oh, that's a great Huge. tip. And that's on anything from turkey to steaks. A roast, All kinds same of meat. thing. Now, when it comes to deep frying a turkey, I know that that's also a route that's huge to take. Huge. So, how? I mean, tell us how to do that. If, okay. if you want to try something scary with a bunch of hot oil. Yes. <laughs> First off, get away from the house. Number one, get away from the house just in case you have an accident. Do you want your patio cover or garage going up. So get away. Two, you're going to want to think about when you fry it, the day be before, I'm going to take that turkey in the package. I'm going to drop it in water in that actual pot. Let all the water rush out. Pull the turkey out and see what water's left. That's all the oil you need. Because think if that had been oiled the day oh, you're frying, course. all that oil is going to flood out. Oh. And then it's going to go onto your fire, and there's where your fire That's where it happens. happens. So make sure you dry out the pot before you put your oil in. But another thing, are you bringing somebody to the table that has a peanut allergy? If you do, there's veggie oil and peanut oil. Oh, you don't want to fry that, that turkey in a peanut oil and then find somebody has an allergy and you're in the ER on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this makes man. me not want to try deep frying a turkey. Yeah. Oh, no, no. 
it, you can do it safely. You just have to think ahead. Well, wait so a minute. Good. Is the flavor it's, that oh, much yes. better? Yes. Is it really? Yes. We took a low-calorie bird and made it the best tasting you'd ever get. <laughs> so, Linda, give me some cheats on the sides. You know, a lot of folks kind of bring those, or you know, if you're going to grandma's house and you want to bring yes. some sides or whatever, give me some good cheats. Okay. We have some great sides if you don't want to cook, but you need to bring something to the table. Cafe on the Run in the HEB grocery store has the kale cranberry kale salad. Kale salad for Thanksgiving? Oh, my gosh. Why not? We have to have something healthy after we go down and eat the cake over here. Yikes. <laughs> so you can grab that. They are already pre-made. We have the best sides. We have these meal simple sides that are already made. If you have two or three people and you don't want to make a whole batch of macaroni and cheese, go ahead and pick it up. But then if you do not want to cook it and you want to doctor it up, you could put something like a little bacon jam in there or something else like that to give it a little extra flavor. But these are quick grab and goes. Fantastic. Bacon jam. What about yes. adding like a little truffle salt in there? Well, truffle salt is what I love on my mashed potatoes. And this is a truffle zest. This is a new little item we're carrying here at HEB and the Cooking Connection. Has give it a little the smell test those wonderful mushrooms from Italy. So you'll sprinkle that on your <laughs> potatoes. We've put them on everything from asparagus to even this truffle salt is wonderful on popcorn. Wow, it, you know, it is so potent. I do love truffle, but very sparingly. Very this sparingly. Stuff, if you use too much, it'll overpower everything. It's also a nice surprise. Well, and you know what's also a nice surprise? Looked in Oprah's Favorite Thing magazine in December, and in it was our truffle zest and our truffle salt as one of Oprah's favorite things. So you can go down to HEB and pick up something that we've known for years that Oprah just that now Oprah found out loves. about. Well, who doesn't love that? Okay, let's grab our wine and move over to this <laughs> Definitely. Table. And Cheers. speaking of the wine, <laughs> HEB has our Pinot Noirs on sale. They are 10% off this week. So while y'all enjoying a little Olima Pinot, I will tell you some easier ways. If you do need to grab something quick, our deli does some great items. For $19.99, I grabbed the cheese tray. You could go and buy the cheese yourself for around that price, depending on which ones you pick up. But why not have them make it for you? Look at the size of these grapes, oh, by the way. These are like the size of plums. They're so big. So they've already cut it up. It's ready to go. The cool thing about our delis, you can go online to HEB.com and put it all in, in the computer, put your credit card in, pay for it ahead. So think of this a day or two ahead and have us do a turkey dinner for you, pick up our party trays, order a cake, all just at the click of a computer. You know, last year Great I hosted saver. Thanksgiving at my house and I thought, I had the option of going online and buying the pre-made turkey dinner, and I thought, you know what, it's a little pricey, I'm just going to cook myself. By the time I had gone to three or four grocery stores looking for everything I needed, $400 later, I should have just ordered it online. Order it online. We will have a turkey that's pre-cooked. Now, you will have to heat it up at home, but cranberry sauce, the mashed potatoes, the cornbread stuffing, all of that will be in there. So if you really don't want to cook, but you need a meal, look to us. We'll do it for you. I love the olive bar. Yes. And so we did put a little appetizer of the olives out there. So if you could, again, if you don't want to do just a simple meal, you want to do snacky items, grab the, yes, you've been trying to or that garlic. marinated garlic, garlic clove, which <laughs> is my favorite. Definitely. Delicious. Those are great. And then if, let's talk a little bit about the champagne and cake. We see these sandwiches, we're almost out of time. We're almost, okay, this is a southern tradition, that vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream yes. and coconut. <laughs> so this year our bakery put it together. It's only $23. It'll serve about 20 people. So I got a big old slice up here. And we picked up our Prosecco, nice little bubbly that'll go great with a little sweet cake like this. So we've got that over there in the Cooking Connection too. That is the Prima Maza Prosecco. And Prosecco usually on the more the, inexpensive side. Inex inexpensive, little drier, but it also makes a great mimosa. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> hey, that probably weighs 10 pounds, huh? It pretty much does. Last but not least, we skipped over the sandwiches. We should give yes. them some love. I know they're maybe basic, but I love a little deli well, sandwich. And again, if you are just not wanting that traditional turkey or ham or even barbecue, we do make the party trays in the um, deli for you as well. So pre-order it, make it easy. We'll help you get through those holidays with no stress. Or just to have something at home so for anybody that's getting hunchy, has, has the munchies before the big meal. Anyone you getting hunchy, some? yeah? Hunchy, oh, yeah. Or, 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 okay. hunchy. <laughs> or even after the holidays on Sunday when you're just tired of leftovers, order one up and we'll set it up for you. Perfect. Linda, thank you thank so you. much. Hopefully the stress will come out of our Thanksgiving meals. Coming up